Happy holidays to you all. This is always a special and memorable time of the year. Welcome into our sports top 10 moments of the year. I'm Kaden Gaylord Day. And I'm Lauren Floyd. We're doing something a little different today as we are coming down to the end of 2023. And we wanted to reflect on the year with all the great moments that South Central Kentucky sports has brought us. Now we feel so blessed to say that there were so many great things that happened this year that all of them didn't even get to make this list. So if you feel left out, we didn't forget about you and we appreciate you and the moments that you brought us in 2023. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting with number 10, the opening of the WKU softball and soccer complex. On September 28th, WKU Athletics unveiled the new softball and soccer complex, a space to give these women an amazing locker room and athletic space that they deserve. It's a huge improvement for the women's sports on campus who show out every year, time and time again, and we can't wait to to see what they do next year. Number nine, we couldn't just shout out one team from the fourth region basketball tournament. Multiple teams made history this year, starting with the Russellville Lady Panthers making the region tournament and winning a game for the first time ever. Then the Warren East Raiders won a district title and made the fourth region tournament for the first time in nearly 30 years. And finally, of course, the Bowling Green Lady Purples winning its fourth fourth region title in a row, the first team to ever do that. Congratulations to all these teams on a great year. At number eight is the Bravo 12 Black Volleyball Team. Back in June, this team won the 50th AAU Junior National Volleyball Championship. A typical season consists of around 50 games, but for these girls, they finished the overall season with a 77 and seven record. We know volleyball continues to grow in this city and these girls definitely have the next generation on lock. Up next at number seven, it's the new head coach in charge, Mr. Steve Lutz. Coach Lutz was introduced as the 16th head coach of the WKU men's basketball team back on March 18th. He immediately went to work and reshaped the roster and has the tops looking great heading into conference play. We are ready to get to the back half of the schedule and start and we can't wait to see what they do in 2024. Coming in hot at number six, WKU Baseball. After a disappointing 2022 season where the team finished with the third most losses in program history, WKU Baseball was picked to finish last in Conference USA for the 2023 campaign. But after hiring new head coach Mark Reardon, the team had a new sense of excitement and brought some much needed energy into the WKU Baseball program. The Hilltoppers defied everyone's expectations and finished with a 33 and 26 record while making it to the Conference USA semifinal. Making this the first time in over a decade, the Hilltoppers finished with 30 plus wins and is tied for the fourth best in a season since 2004. We're now getting into the top of five, and this is where things really start to get tough. But coming in at number five, the Hart County Raiders football team. Under head coach Chad Griffin, the Raiders won their very first playoff game in 2022, but came back with a vengeance in 2023. This Hart County team became the first in school history to go undefeated in the regular season, the first to win a district and region championship, as well as the first to make it all the way to the state semifinals. So so many program records broken throughout the year and while their state title run came up short to Bell County in the semifinals, this was a year all Raiders fans will remember. At number four, it's a double dose of WKU football. This year, Malachi Corley became the all-time leader in receptions in WKU history, leaving his mark as one of the greatest Hilltoppers of all time. Not only that, the season ended with a bang with the Hilltoppers overcoming a 28-point deficit in the famous Toastery Bowl and beating Old Dominion 38-35 to in overtime. Led by redshirt freshman quarterback and South Warren High School grad Caden Beltcamp to cap off one of the craziest bowl games ever. Ever. Congrats to Malachi on a great career and congrats to the tops for ending the year out strong. At number three, which is my favorite number, so it goes to my favorite team on campus. The WKU Volleyball Squad had another tremendous year on the court, winning 30 games, another Conference USA regular season and tournament championship, and won an NCAA tournament game for the fifth year in a row. Not only that, they have won 74 straight matches in Conference USA and now own one of the nation's longest 20-win season winning strings at 24 years in a row. Travis Hudson is the GOAT. Please Please build that statue. Congratulations on another great year. 
At number two, we're going to give it to number two and the Bowling Green Purples football team. This year, Purples quarterback Deuce Bailey became Bowling Green's all-time leading passer in program history, and he is only a junior. And to put the icing on the cake, the Purples avenged last year's championship loss and made sure they were going to win the 5A state championship this year. Bowling Green had an amazing 12-3 season and dominated throughout the entire playoffs as they cruised to the program's eighth state title. The Purples had tunnel vision for a ring and they made sure they got it. And of course, at number one, who else could it be but them D-R-A-G-O-N-S? The Warren Central Dragons avenged its 2022 championship loss and dominated the entire 2023 basketball season, going 36-1 and ending the year winning the school's first state championship since 2004. They were the heavy favorites all year, and they showed why in every single game. And most of the players on the roster are playing or will be playing college basketball. That showed you just how amazing this team is congratulations to the dragons on all your success well that is our list for the 2023 calendar year what a great year that brought us so many amazing moments even ones we didn't even get to touch on today well thank you for a great year of sports and our jobs would be a lot harder if it wasn't for your all's cooperation if that was what 23 2023 brought us what will 2024 bring us well i know we are all excited to find that out happy holidays from the wbko sports team